You cannot do what others are doing. You can't act like them. A, a, a life where people only applaud those who they feel have things, have money and without asking how they got the things they got. So even now, the kind of life and the kind of things you're doing, you are sad doing them. But that's the only thing you have to do. Or else you're going to be called a failure like others are called. A world where people don't ask for the process. Or just take care of those people. Where people don't ask for the process. All they are interested in is result. Where they tell people that the end justifies the means. Not knowing that the means justifies the end. Even aside going to hell. Aside going to hell at the end of the day. Naturally that life is not your life. You don't have that energy. How many sins are you going to commit? to survive how many how many disobedience to god are you going to be disobedient to survive when people now take advantage of your trouble your struggles when friends like you begin to insult you that you are stupid because you refuse to do what they are doing forgetting that many have done what they are doing and they are dead Sometimes you think you are the only one who have refused to compromise, not knowing there are many. He said to Elijah, I said, There are many, 7,000, who have not bowed their knee to bow. But the problem is that those 7,000 refuse to identify publicly. The benefit Elijah had was that he didn't bow his knee to bow and he made it bold. There are people serving God secretly, quietly. He knows them. That's what he said. Not only knowing them, he knows their number. It is too late to go into the world. You see, who is a Christian? A Christian is one who sees an opportunity to disobey God, but says no. Until you see an opportunity to disobey God, and yet you are able to stand to resist it, you are not a Christian. When you fall for everything, it means you are not standing for anything. When you can look at the temptation and say, no, I'm not doing this because of him. You lose something, you lose favor, you lose opportunities. But there's something I've found out. You may have all you want to have in life. Listen to this, if you're a pastor, you're a businessman, and you feel you are doing well. Whether in ministry, you feel you are doing well, things are happening for you. And yet you are you are disobeying God in certain areas of your life. I can tell you, the Lord told me January this year. He said, Son, there is a dimension of security, not money, not fame, not anointing. There's a dimension of security a man can never enjoy except he's holy. Security from sickness, from attack, from affliction. He can get every other thing. He said, But I won't give you say securities for the holy at the end of the day what you stand to gain by following him is more than any gain you can get from any man what is money what is money what is money we met it we'll leave it what is money what is car we met it, we leave it. What is building? What is enjoyment? You smoke, you drink, you do all nonsense, destroy your system, and you die. What have you left? What have you refused because of Jesus? Not a, I, I, I don't feel like, I don't just feel, no, I'm a Christian, I won't do this. But I don't feel like I don't just feel like I don't feel like I told somebody I said, stop saying I don't feel like stop saying uh, I don't want to no say because of Jesus if you say you don't feel like does it mean there's something you are going to feel like amen you have to know something you have to know something the life 
we live now is nothing compared to the length of life we will live after now the life after now is called eternity no number it's not one million years it's not two million years it's not three million it's not ten million it's not hundred million so because of maximum let's say you live 80 years right 80 now average lifespan now 90 100 okay 120 no let's be let's be on the on the liberal side and because of 120 years you miss 10 million so because of just one error and why are you missing all that why are you missing that life that long life why are you missing that eternal life one man one girl one woman one money 20 minutes pleasure eternal hellfire eh? it doesn't make sense no matter how much you have you will leave them behind yes sir the more property you acquire the more things you will leave behind when you die a wise man acquires less spends more on the kingdom of God and on the poor because the more properties you acquire the more things you will leave behind and the more things you leave behind the more confusion you will put family members to start fighting and fighting and fight people don't fight when there's nothing to fight for acquire everything you want everything you want everything everything what shall it profit a man shall gain the whole world you want a mass and a mass and a mass. what is it that you leave your husband for another man because of money and you leave your wife for another woman because of money because of documents you need to tell the lord to be a true christian is expensive it doesn't cost money it doesn't cost time it doesn't cost fame it doesn't cost degree it doesn't cost education it doesn't cost friendship it costs everything it cost everything many people the world has fought them because they refuse to be part of the world system yes, sir. there are many things that have been said about many of us is when we get to heaven that the Lord will prove the truth you can't defend yourself keep following God And look at your life and begin to focus you may not have money some of you may not even have documents now but you have life yes, sir. focus on what he has given you while you are expecting what he promised you focus on what god he has given you life given you time give you opportunity focus on that and thank him appreciate him for that one i thank you for life i may not have what i need but thank you, I have you. And my eyes. And you for what you have done for me. And God, when he sees that kind of heart, he decides to open the heaven 